make any little bit of Photoshop. Mountains are so crazy. So we stopped off in the middle of fuck all nowhere in California and look at this. I can't take all of it. I mean the price is too high. But dude, I can keep the channel going for the rest of my fucking life. Oh my god. Dude, I've never seen, man, this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. I've never seen this many fluid-filled fucking bottles. Hey guys, me, your pal Gabriel. And the other day, I was driving in San Bernardino, California, and I came upon this. That's all I got for a video because the lady said they were closing really soon, and I had to bum rush the drinks. And I bought all the ones that had dates that were interesting to me. I paid a dollar a piece for the bottles, or the cans, and about two fifty a piece for the bottles. Uh, which is highway robbery on some of the bottles, but very good on some of the other stuff. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. I honestly have been contemplating kind of winding the channel down and ending it until I found this stuff. This will keep me going for at least a year. My views are really down, but that's okay. I don't really mind. Now I can kind of do whatever I want. I think I have a very mild core audience, maybe. Somebody's fucking watching. I get about 30 to 50 views of the video, so somebody's watching. But, uh, so I'll run you through what I got. Uh, I got this... Cave Creek Chili Beer, and these are nasty. They're covered in rat shit and all kinds of stuff. I'm not sure where it's from, but it actually has a chili on the top. I promised old Smokey I'd send him one of these, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna send him to the other side too. I don't know what. I got a Samuel Adams Triple Bock 1995 Brew Reserve Beer. It's sticky and nasty. Um, this is a rigid stuff I brought with me, that one, so that was not exciting. I got a Michelob Premium Ultra. I'd say that's probably from the 90s. A, that one I brought with me. Um, a Lion Cool from the 90s, a uh, red ale, and then a Michelob Light from the 90s, a beer called Hooper's Hooch, alcoholic lemon brew. Not sure when that's from, but I thought it was kind of interesting. Here's the other chili beer. Oh, these are different. One's older and one's newer. Cave Creek Chili Original, World Market. I think this is the older one. But uh, that one's got a little chili in it, too. That one seems to have done better, doesn't it? Okay, I'm getting that one. Get, the old smoke's getting a stinky one. Uh, I got an old red dog from the 90s. A couple of rogue beers from the 90s. A Coors Cutter. I've never even heard of that. I'm guessing that's an ice beer for the raging alcoholics. Uh, red Wolf. I've never gotten a dual on those. A dated one. I've never even had the non-dated beer. Another Rogue from the 90s. A, another Rogue from the 90s. And a bunch of flashlights. I got this. I thought it was funny. It's a Coors beer can phone. I'm going to hook this up in my room. If you want to call me, I'm not going to answer. Love you, babe. Or oh, text things. Uh, I got this. Coors Grande Original, tall one. You can see the rot of another beer on top of it. A Coors Original, a shorter beer. Um, a beer, a Sharps non-alcoholic brew. I think I've done one of those in the past. Uh, Fisher Lager beer. Uh, Dixie beer. I've never seen that one. That one's from like the 80s, based on the canned stuff, top tab. That's aluminum. A Maximus Super beer from Utica, New York. Here in New York. I about died when I got this room, by the way. A Harley Daytona 1993. A, I've done one of the, a few of these before. I even did one from the 80s. A Foster's Special Bitter. Imported beer. Cooks. I've done this one before. Cooks Gold Boom, but it is a uh, aluminum can from the 80s. An Olympia beer, probably from the 90s. A Bud Ice, probably from the 90s. A Coors original, another one of those. Some of these I got specifically for Jamie. Or Old Smokey, as you probably know. A very interesting press top Coors. I've never seen one of these before. So that one's a new one for me. It's aluminum, so it's from the 80s, but I've never seen that. A Coors Frost Brew Liner beer. A good amount of these will go off to Old Smokey. These were, I was, I was so excited about this. It's a Keystone. I would say from the early 90s based on the design. Never got to do 
uh, old keystone, and that's a light, and this is a heavy from the same time period. <coughs> a very weak loud, tiny 80s chords. A light ice beer. A Miller light ice beer from the 90s. A light Riverside Resort beer from the, I would assume the 90s based on the design. A Dixie light beer from the 80s. It's from 82, February of 82. Uh, it's made in uh, New Orleans. Interesting. A Milwaukee's Best. I was also excited about this. It's a heavy, uh, which I don't even think they make heavy Milwaukee's Best anymore. I haven't seen that uh, in a long. Maybe they do, but I sure have not seen it. I live outside Milwaukee. Um, a Tall Boy of Tecate. So let me get these packed away. Cut that camera with. Like that, with the magic of movie magic, we're back. Uh, I also have, real quick, I have videos from Puerto Rico to edit, videos from California to edit, I'll have videos from Hawaii, some of these are just going to be travel videos, I can't always bring these beers, and I ran out of them when I first got here, so a lot of places I went, I couldn't do any of them, but you know, whatever, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to watch. Um, I went to Slab City, that was really crazy, but if you want to see any little previews or some of the stuff I've done, you can always go over to my Instagram, that's Gabriela88 on Instagram. Here's a... Uh, holiday edition 125th anniversary Budweiser. They put these in like champagne bottles from 2001, September 27th, right after the plane. Um, there's some really, really wild shit in this. One. There's a Ballantine beer. I never get or Ballantine. I don't know if you want to say that. Never got to do that. There's a Woodchuck Ale from the 90s, right after they started. It's a 40. There's these goofy Coors pseudo 40s that are glass. They're not 40s. They're like they're pint. Uh, those are looking pretty nasty. Yeah, this one I thought was funny. Lobotomy Bach. There's a Zima. I'm not going to drink this. I promise this still it's smoky. I've, I've done the new Zima, the old Zima. Uh, they're, they're getting kind of the old ones. Before the real ones are getting kind of hard to get a hold of. But I did promise that to Jamie. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to make this mildly really quick. I gotta get to the gym. And tomorrow morning I'm going to Hawaii. Use the mess in the room. There's a Miller High Life from the 70s, a Budweiser paper label. That one is old, old, old. This is from 77. Budweiser. I'm gonna leave that one because I want to show you some of these glass. A lot of these are what's called Thera glass. These are from like the 50s. This one's from 78. It's a Miller High Life. These little stubbies are fucking wild. You don't see these a whole lot even. There's an Apollo Lager. I'm gonna drink this down in Florida. I want to take my brother to the Kennedy Space Center, which I promised to do. Uh, this is a paper label, Old Milwaukee, from, I want to say, 52, based on the glass information. A Miller Genuine Draft from the 90s, probably. That's some serious shit, though, isn't it? Uh, Cutson, Sheboygan, I don't know what this is or how it got in there. Does it have a label? No, no label. Hmm. Uh, that one might have just been a fluke that got in there. A Ham's Beer from 72. Oh no, that one has a label. Uh, it's a Oyster... Fuck, no, no, that's this one. This one's an Oyster Stout from God knows when. It's got a paper label. These labels are not looking so hot, but some of these are older than anyone in my family. There's a regular Miller beer. Doesn't say heavy, light, nothing, just says Miller. Um, a Chief Oshkosh beer. It's a paper label from based on the dirt glass. Like 58. So that one's crazy old. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, a Coors beer from the 90s. A tiny Milwaukee's. Milwaukee's choicest. I'm guessing that was Milwaukee's best original name. And this is from 54. Milwaukee's choicest. Um, an Avatar, or a Purple Haze beer from the 90s. That was kind of neat. Another Hams, but that one for Old Smoker. A Jill Walters Little Adler beer. From Appleton, Wisconsin. 
and this one I think is from 49. So that one's uh, right after World War II. A Devil Mountain Brewery Ale. I kind of couldn't buy most of the glass ones because the price point was so high and the lady wouldn't move. I got her down from eight bucks a bottle though, and like five a can, to a dollar a can, and 250 a bottle. There's a Stinging Joe's Honey Wheat Beer. Now here's the real crazy ones. This is a Burgermeister from the 70s in a ceramic bottle. Now listen to that, baby. Oh yeah. I don't know that I um, Here is a Ocanto Premium Beer from 61. Here is a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, this one's crazy. From uh, 1954. The label has not changed much for Pabst in a lot of time. And we're almost done. A Blatt's Bach Beer from 54. That's pretty wild. A Miller Genuine Red from the 90s, I believe. And Last but not least, a couple more. A Miller High Life, the Champagne of Beer from the 70s. I've done a lot of these, so a lot of those will probably go off to Jamie. And then my favorite one of all of these, Bulldog Lager by Acme. And this is from, I believe that's 48. So it's the oldest one in there. And it's probably worth good money. That's a really neat label. <coughs> Ew. Ah. Uh, so anyways, um, thanks for watching. I will be in Hawaii by the time you see this. I just want you guys to know the videos may be slow on my way to Florida, because I, so tomorrow I'm going to Hawaii. I'm flying out of LAX. My car has had all kinds of issues. I've learned car repair um, out here, and I genuinely mean that. I've never repaired cars in my whole life. And while I've been out here in California, I've done a lot of car repair to the point where I can pretty confidently do most things. I've done a brake job, I've done this, I've done that. Um, I learned a lot of things. I learned that torque wrenches are important. I learned that breaker bars are also important. And I learned those things the hard way. But my car isn't doing so hot, so whether or not I make it to Florida, I'm not sure. So like I said, I'm in Hawaii for five, six days. Right after I leave, I'm in Rosamond, California, outside of LA. Um, I've had a great time in California. Most people I've met have been very nice. I got to go to Disneyland. What do you think of Disneyland, Cameron? It's okay. No, we say it sucked. It was horrible. It was ass. It's no Disney World. That's Disney World is much better. If I get to Florida, I'm going to go to Disney World. I'll take my brother as well. So you'll see him a little on camera probably. And um, I don't Oh, so after I leave Hawaii, it's a, what was it? It's like a 36 hour drive to Florida. So I'll be on the road for three days. So I won't be able to upload. That's why I'm making this video. Uh, I just want to update you guys, the three of you who still care. Uh, I am still here. I am still making videos. I've edited a few of the Puerto Rico ones. I just don't have time right now, but I'll have a ton of time once I hit Florida. Florida's going to be where I'm going to relax, kind of rethink my life, and get ready for the next chapter of this channel and what I'm doing with my life. Uh, which hopefully this year we'll be buying a house, uh, potentially. If not, you know, whatever. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.